All right, I know this sounds really weird. I've seen it twice now show up on different people's Telegram channels. And because it's so weird, I actually have to just do this so that I can prove to myself and maybe all of you through this video that it's either completely crazy or there's possibly something to it. I go with crazy. So I'm told that these chemtrails, so if you look out here, It was a sunny sky this morning. I sat out, I saw the sun. It started getting really hazy in front of the sun. All of a sudden it was just pure clouds. Obviously that happens sometimes, but the rate at which it happens now as planes are flying over with these things coming out the backs of them is crazy. So I am told that putting some of this, this is just white vinegar in a container and putting it outside is going to disperse those things. That's seemingly idiotic to me. However, uh, I'm gonna read to you the exact chemistry behind why people say that works, how they say to do it. I'm gonna do it and then we'll see what happens. Here's what I found and I don't know that any of that is true. I've read this science and I mean, and this doesn't, I mean, the science might be real, what they're saying happens to hydrogens and acetic acid, but um, just because they're giving you science uh, of what happens with acetic acid and hydrogen or hydronium ions, however you want to call them, doesn't mean that that's going on up there from evaporating a little bit of vinegar, but you know, I've tried crazier things. Okay, so this is what I've got. I buy vinegar because we use it for cleaning and for pickling vegetables sometimes. So this is obviously new vinegar. I'm just gonna take the top. I've got a little container right here, as you can see. And I'm just gonna pour some in. And as you can see, Here's what it looks like above us. I mean, it's pretty, like, this is pretty hazy, which is unusual for spring, unless there are actually rain clouds and it's raining, and that's not what's happening here. Um, these clouds are definitely not normal, at least from my experience growing up in the 80s. Okay, so I've got some vinegar. It's in that. It's just going to sit here. Of course, there's nothing that tells me how much. I'll look at the YouTube videos they posted, but again, like, just because there's some science that vinegar is acetic acid, um, that's what gives it the, the acidity. Just because acetic acid or any acid can donate hydrogen ions, so this is going to donate hydrogen ions, they're going to they're gonna come off for sure. Are they going to go all the way up there and disperse clouds? I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that sounds so stupid. So <laughs> Let's just check back in, in an hour. Supposedly there's no cloud cover uh, over where we are, which is right here. It's all up here. So, uh, yeah, those clouds you see out there, apparently not on this radar. All right, so here is the vinegar. Looks like we attracted a bug or two. And there's still quite a bit in there. It's warm out today. And hard to tell for you, but these clouds are more like rain clouds than they are like the foggy aerosolized chemical tail, I'll say clouds. And honestly, I still am of the opinion that no matter what this is evaporating, it's evaporating some acetic acid. Maybe there's some um, hydrogen ions, H plus ions coming off, um, coming up here into the clouds. And then the claim is that they're going to condense the aerosolized metals that are up there, barium, aluminum, whatever it is, and then those will fall out. So I would imagine you'd actually have to seed the acetic acid if that's correct into the cloud and in significant quantities in an aerosolized form 
not like a little bit of evaporation down here for that to work. So, you know, I would just say that this is naturally the fogginess of the aerosolized stuff moving off and real clouds coming in and has nothing to do with the acetic acid. Oh my god. Oh my poor car. Oh. 